So um, uh, there's this interesting thing called Moravec's paradox. Hans Moravec came up with this idea in the 90s where he noticed that the tasks which are um, easiest for humans are taking computers the longest to solve. So we have, still haven't solved robotics yet. We, we, it's so easy for us to move around. Whereas the tasks which are quite hard for humans, like adding numbers, adding long numbers, that computers could do that in the 60s. And the logic there is that uh, evolution has only optimized us for, let's say, the last million years to be good at reasoning, to be good at arithmetic, to be good at these kinds of high-level abstractions. Evolution has spent 4 billion years teaching us how to move around the world, how to um, pursue your goals on a long-term basis, so not just do this task over the next hour, but mm. spend the next month planning how to kill this gazelle. Um, uh, and th that has been, I think, remarkably accurate predictor of the places we've seen the progress. They're like, they're automating coding. Coding we thought of was this thing that 0.1% of the population could do really well. That's that's the first thing that went below the waterline. Um, uh, and yeah, just like basic, you know, manual work might genuinely be the last thing that goes away. Right. Yeah, there's a difficulty in getting a robot to crack an egg. Right. A particular difficulty yeah. in being able to do that, the right amount of tension to hold. Is there a this may be outside of your domain of competence, but that's why we do podcasting to talk about <laughs> things that are outside our domain of competence. Is there a potential to use some sort of scanning technology to take an LLM type approach to teaching robots how humans move? Mm. You know, if you were able to track within a room exactly how a human was to just go about tasks, just feed that into a big fuck off model right. and then use that to reap, I guess, you can't really work out sort of force application just by looking. That would right. be something you'd have to fit. Maybe you could put someone in a suit. I don't know. You know, I'm wondering if we've seen so much progress using LLMs in the world of AI. Robotics seems to be something that's still kind of pretty janky. Yeah. I'm wondering if there are any principles that can be taken from the world of LLM that can be applied to robotics. I, I mean, that's a great question. Uh, and many companies are working on it. My understanding is that it's, it's difficult for the fact that there's not as much data, just what you mentioned, that mm. the kind of data you need of like, what did it feel there's like? There's no internet for human movement. Exactly, right? And even video is limited. And even if you have the video, it's not, with language, you have this thing of you are exactly doing the thing which uh, the online internet text is, right? You are predicting the next token in the text. You, you can predict the next thing in a video frame. That's not the same thing as robotics. There's also additional challenges from what I understand around um, the fact that video is harder to process than text, it's just like a lot more data. There's latency overhead. So if it takes you a while to process uh, language, that's fine. You can you know go a token at a time. The real world just moves very fast. 